Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels, where we tell you the good, the bad, and the points of interest of your favorite cities. We do town tours, highway drives, and lists just like this one. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Birmingham, Alabama. Number 10. Traffic. If you've ever driven through Birmingham, you already know. You don't need a list on YouTube to tell you how bad the traffic here is. It's a mix of people driving like it's their first time on the highway and construction that seems to be ongoing that makes navigating the city so very hard to do. Even people who have been through many times can easily take wrong turns because of the road work and wind up downtown or going somewhere they didn't want to. Rush hours are especially congested with people traveling in and out for work. Don't rely on GPS to get you through as roads are always changing and take the loop around if you can. Number 9. Bad Education the school system in Alabama in general is lacking at its best, but it is especially bad in Birmingham. There are 120 public schools for its students and only 81% of the population there graduated high school. Parents complain about the attention their children get while attending public schools and often opt for private institutions if they can afford it, which most people can't, so they have to send their kids to these bad public schools where their education suffers. Number 8. High Obesity Alabama has the third highest adult obesity rate in the entire country. For those of you from a state with a bad school system, that means there are 47 states in the union that have skinnier people. What's more exciting is that the county that has the most obese people in the state is Jefferson, and guess what city is in Jefferson County? If you guess Birmingham, you get a gold star. 66% of the adults in Birmingham got the fluff. Is it from all that good down-home fried cooking or all those cases of Budweiser? We may never know the origin, but it is a big problem that you may fall into as you settle into the community. Number 7. Continuously Ranked Low would you like to be a part of a demographic that is continuously ranked low for basic things like health, quality of life? Who needs a good life anyway? Living in Alabama has a stigma to it once people hear where you're from. It's not even like you're from a good part of this state either, like down on the beach. There's also a kissing cousins type of stigma. Maybe that's your thing. And hey, that's cool if it is, no judgment, but people from out of state tend to look down on people from Alabama. Number six, seriously violent. Birmingham is one of the most violent cities in the United States when it comes to crime and definitely one of the worst in the South. It ranks right up there with the likes of Detroit and St. Louis, if not worse. You have to live like you're taking your life in your hands each and every time you go out and even inside of your house. The violent crime rate here is 393% higher than the national average almost 400% higher than the national average. That says a lot in regards to your safety. You'll have a 1 in 13 chance of becoming the victim of a crime the minute you step into the city. That's going grocery shopping, getting gas, going out to get your mail, sitting in your living room. Living here is like taking your life in your hands every single day and rolling the dice hoping you don't end up facing end of life. Number 5. Unpleasant Weather The weather in Birmingham can be very pleasant, especially when the north is getting snow and it's 70 degrees outside. However, Birmingham can and does get wintry precipitation. Not very often, but when it happens, it shuts down the city, and people get into a lot of accidents because they don't know how to drive in it. Aside from that, the city is very vulnerable to severe weather, including things like tornadoes. 
It usually feels the effects from hurricanes after they've moved inland. Summers can be unbearably hot and very humid. The air conditioner will be your friend. If you don't have an air conditioning, you'll be miserable and will wish you had one. Most residents spend most of their time inside to avoid the weather and the criminals. Number 4. Roll Tiders As I mentioned in our Huntsville Sucks video, people in Alabama love to say things like Roll Tide. This happens here in Birmingham too. Everything is Roll Tide. They put flags, stickers, signs, and other signs of support over everything. Their homes, cars, clothing, bodies. They take it to the extreme and do whatever they can to let you know that they are Roll Tide fans. It'll be easy to spot a Roll Tide fan because in case you miss the flags and stickers, they will let you know. If you aren't a Roll Tide fan, you better not tell anyone who your team is or talk about any other teams. Doing so will lead to extreme social outcasting and embarrassment. Number 3. Poverty Birmingham is a very poor city. There's no getting around that point. If you watch closely enough, you'll see the scenery change the minute you enter city limits from the highway. The roads, neighborhoods, buildings, and factories all look run down like a part of the set from The Walking Dead when they discover a new settlement. 29% of the city lives under poverty levels because the median income is 30% lower than the national average at just about $20,000 per year for an individual. That poverty level is 95% higher than the rest of the country. The unemployment rate is also 51% higher than the national average. Finding a good paying job here is next to impossible and all the low paying jobs are usually taken by people who are willing to do whatever they have to do to make ends meet. Number 2. Cockroaches Have you ever seen bugs like cockroaches that are so big you don't want to step on them? If not, get ready for it. Birmingham has a big population of all kinds of mega-sized things like beetles and rodents. They are all over the city. Even in the better neighborhoods, houses are having issues with keeping them under control. Almost all of the residents there have some kind of pest control regimen, whether it's something they do themselves or hiring a company to come spray. The alternative is waking up to things walking on you and not being able to get back to sleep until you can find them. There are over 30 species of different kinds of roaches alone in Birmingham and an infestation of American, German, and Asian and Oriental. So an international party. Make sure you have your bug spray handy. Number 1. Public Transit Birmingham is pretty big. It's just about 152 square miles and has over 212,000 people and over 1.1 million in its metro population. With that being said, places that people frequent are scattered across the city. It's definitely the kind of place where owning a car is your best option. If you can keep the rims and catalytic converters from getting stolen, you would think that a city this large with a population this large would have a really good public transit system, but you'd be wrong. Less than 3% of residents here use it because of how horrible it is. People here can't and don't depend on it. While it's not a very walkable city, they make it work downtown when they have to be there. Plan on making your life a lot easier. At least get a bike or moped or the best option, a car to get yourself around Birmingham. All right, everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Birmingham? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.